This is Shan with Shan for Crafts, and today we're going to be talking about color theory. And I'm very excited today about this because, um, you know, when I discovered color theory, it really opened up a whole new world of color for me. And I'm just very excited to be sharing this with you today. Now, we're going to start off with, um, of the first eight colors. Now, if you remember in kindergarten, you know, when you first got your first box of crayons, you had eight colors. You had the red, blue, yellow, green, orange, purple, and then you had brown and uh, black. Okay, we're not going to worry about the brown and black today. Uh, I will mention it later, but not, we're not going to focus on that today. We're going to focus on the main colors, okay? Now, when you got your first box of crayons, you actually started learning about color theory. That's when it all began. Uh, the thing is, uh, color theory is used in advertisements. It's also used to sell and market uh, uh, items uh, and so forth and uh it's all around you I, I drive up and down the street every day and i can see color theories in the uh color theory being used in your in the signs uh that the uh you know at the you know, at the stores the street signs uh the store signs is everywhere and uh actually they actually get artists to help them design their their signs and everything uh, so that way they can sell their 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 uh, merchandise you know a lot better with color theory so we're gonna jump right on in we're gonna talk about first the first uh, what I want to talk about is the primary colors okay the primary colors are gonna be red blue okay and yellow now with those three colors you can make any other color that you now, can um, imagine now the next colors i'm going to talk about is our secondary colors they're made by mixing two primary colors together i'm going to show you this the secondary colors let me get rid of those marks secondary colors are going to be your orange okay your purple and your green, okay? Okay, everyone knows that red and yellow make orange, blue and green, blue and yellow make green, and red and blue make purple, okay? Those are your secondary colors. Let me get rid of those marks. Okay, now, when you mix a secondary color with a primary color, you get a tertiary color, okay? And... Our tertiary colors, there's actually six of them. The easy way to remember it is that there's three primary colors, there's three secondary colors, but there's six tertiary colors. Now, the tertiary colors are going to be everything else that's left on the color wheel, okay? I'm going to go ahead and mark all of them really quickly. That way you can see them. Now, these colors that I just marked, this is red-orange, made by mixing red and orange, okay? This is uh, yellow-orange, made by mixing orange and yellow. Yellow-green, made by mixing yellow and green. Blue-green, made by mixing blue and uh, blue and green, okay? Then you have over here, you have... Uh, <clears throat> You have uh, blue-violet, made by mixing blue and violet. Then you have uh, red-violet, made by mixing red and violet. Okay. Now that we have all the colors on the color wheel out of the way, uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about are the different uh, color schemes. Uh, the first color scheme we're going to talk about is complementary. Okay, that's the easiest one. That is when you take one color and you go directly opposite of the other color on the color wheel. So red will be the opposite of green. Blue 
would be the opposite of orange. Okay? And then you have purple would be the opposite of yellow. Okay. Nice. And uh, now this type of color scheme is very exciting. It's great for signs. It grabs people's attention. However, it's not too good for text. Okay? Because of the vibrancy of the colors. Imagine trying to read red print on a green background. Or blue print on a on an orange background. It's kind of wild, but uh, it is it, it's great for size. It's great for an now attention. Now the next gift. one I want to talk about is gonna be the color triad. That's by taking three colors equal distance of each other on the color wheel, and it actually when you connect the lines, it makes a little triangle. We're gonna do bl red, blue. And yellow, that's one of the most common color triads. Okay? You see that? It makes a little triangle. Now this here is very exciting. It also creates unity. Uh, the, um, the wheel, this would be my most favorite one. This would be the, the orange, purple, and green. Okay? Okay, I love that one. Um, and uh, actually, I uh, I just did uh, uh, some artwork using those three colors. Uh, the next one is very interesting. I think I'm going to try to do something with it uh, one day. It's actually called a split complementary. Now, this is a neat little one because... What you do, for example, let me take one we haven't used yet. Let's let's do this here, red, violet, and yellow, green. That's a very pretty color scheme. It really is. I'm going to try to do something with it one of these days. Instead of going, now if you have yellow, you have the uh, red, violet, and the complement is yellow, green. Okay? Now, instead of using these two colors together... Let me get rid of my mark. What you do in a split complementary, you take this and you use the colors on either side of it. You see that? So instead of using red, violet, and yellow, green, you go red, violet, and then you go green and yellow, which is actually almost the same effect. Because you still got the yellow green, you know, aspect in it. But that's another. The next one, one is going to mm -hmm. be. The next one on the list is going to be the rectangle color scheme. Now, now, this one is used quite a bit. It's just that it's not discussed a whole lot. Okay? Now, the rectangle color scheme is made by taking. You take one color, let's start with red, you skip a color and go to orange, okay? Then you go down, you make a rectangle. Go down to green, okay, the rectangle. Then you go over here to blue. Then you go back up here to red. And you make a rectangle, and you use those four colors. You actually, okay. Now to make the square, we're going to get ready to make a square color scheme. Now this is really neat. We're going to use the color, some colors we haven't used before. We're going to use this red and violet. We're going to use blue. We're going to go over here to yellow green. Then we're going to go up here to this orange. And then we're going to draw over here to the back to the red violet. Isn't that nice? Now you notice there's two colors left between each one. Okay, so that's another way room. This is really nice, especially this particular one. I really like this one a lot. I like the, because it gives us a nice mixture of cool and warm. You have the red violet, you have the uh, the blue, then you have this yellow green, and then you have the orange. That's a really pretty one. I probably will do something with that one one day also. Very pretty. Uh, very pretty color scheme. Now, the next things I'm going to talk about are going to be in reference to uh, color schemes that uh that now now these ones i'm going to talk about are um 
not as dramatic as the ones I've, I've, I've uh, been discussing. Now, the next one that we're going to take a look at is uh, colors, the, the analogous color scheme, which is when you use colors side by side on the color wheel. Okay? For instance, you could take this orange, yellow, orange, and yellow, and you know, and you can use that in some. You could even take this green and put it in there, and you can make a nice color scheme out of that. What I'm going to talk about is monochromatic. Monochromatic is when you take one color and use different shades and hues of the one color. Now, this is where your black and white would come in. It. For instance, you could take this red. Add white to it, make pink. Add black to it, make maroon. Use red, pink, and maroon in the same color scheme. You know, and that's nice. Uh, it's not going to give you a lot of interest because it's all the same color, basically. But it's nice for unity. Uh, you know, if you ever want something like uh, I will say lines. this. Now, for instance, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, you could you could make your own color scheme. You could take this orange. You could take uh, this here yellow green. You could take this this blue. Okay, you know it's, it, it, as long as it looks together. Then this here would be very pretty. And when you uh, when you use color theory, you could take your work to the next level. Say if you're an artist, you can actually use these color theories, this color wheel, to give you an edge. In competitions, I remember many years ago I entered a competition, and I used uh, complimentary. I entered two pieces, and and in two pieces, one of the pieces I did red and green, and another piece I did yellow. I mean, uh, blue and orange. Okay, and I actually ended up winning first place, and and when the uh, judge walked over to me, she had said, "I like your color choices." You see, now I don't know if. Using a color wheel is always going to, you know, get you first place. But it will give you an edge over the people not using it. Especially when your judges see that you're, you're making decisions about what colors to use in your work. Not just putting different colors on there. But you're actually putting a, some thought and some uh, decision making into your color arrangement. And when they see you using those color arrangements and color theories... That will probably put you above the other people who don't know about it. So you can use this to definitely, you know, uh, put yourself ahead. Also, you can use this for for decoration re uh, reasons. If you've recently uh, decorated, you know, your your uh, your home and you're having trouble with a particular room, take out a color wheel and look at your color wheel, and you know. You know, after you look at your color wheel, you know, it'll be a lot easier for you to pick out which colors you want to use. You know, and uh, also the next time you're out, you know, or driving down the street, look at the street signs. And you'll be surprised how many color schemes you see in the street, in the, um, not the street signs, but your store signs and your shop signs. Go online, look at different websites, and you'll see this, this color, these color theories repeated over and over again. Because they do work and they do get people's attention. Well, my name is Shan. I want to thank you for watching Shan for Crafts. And God bless.